Welcome to the Gravity Sketch Tool Belt Beta Introduction. We're adding a whole new set of features to Gravity Sketch. We don't want to add more menus or kind of button combinations. We actually want to make something a bit more gestural. So to access these new features, grab nothing with the drawing hand and swipe. That will then produce a set of tools. These tools are interesting. We'll go through them one by one. You have a measuring tape here, a brush, a color picker, a banana, which we'll get to later, a dice, which is actually our randomizer, and this little item here is to allow you to do precise movements. We're going to go through tools step by step or more in a kind of how you might use this in a workflow. The first tool we'll look at is our measurement tool. So to grab the tool, it's the same grab gesture that you have with any other asset in Gravity Sketch, and you then produce this tape measure. You can click and click and click, and you now have a digital readout of the exact measurements between uh, spaces or, or points of clicking. You can then grab your tape and do another set of measurements. And at the moment, we only have one set of measurements showing at a time. Again, this is very early beta stuff. It's stuff that we want to work on over the course of several months. To get rid of your tool or to return it back to the, uh, to the, to the tool belt, grab it and delete it. The next tool we'll look at is our color picker. And our color picker and our brush are going to work together here. I've generated a few primitives and added some colors to them, as well as materials. And by grabbing the tool and then pulling the trigger, I can quickly change the tool color. And that also changes the brush color. I can then delete this, and now my brush has the most recent color, and I can then brush it on the geometry, and it quickly changes the geometry. I can delete that and return that back to our, our tool belt. The next tool we'll look at is our banana. Now, what is the banana? Well, if you look at the dashed line coming out of the banana, and if you look a bit closer, the feet here, you'll see that the banana is our teleportation tool. So a lot of you guys have been asking for this. Well, we're finally offering it. So by using the joystick, you could change the position of the feet, which will change the direction that you're looking in. And you can quickly navigate around the space. Now, if you have a big scene, you can go really far away and you can turn around here and go back to your original location. We're obviously looking for a new UI instead of a banana, but we tend to use the banana as an inside joke here in, in the dev team. Now, this tool will also advance beyond just going, teleporting around. We're looking at doing a plethora of cool transform features, which will allow you to get to the right place where you want to be in any stage of your design process. The next tool we'll look at is our randomizing tool. This is our dice here. You grab the tool, pull the trigger, and you just mash up your geometry real quickly. Now, this seems like a bit of a silly tool for an industrial design type of sketch like the scooter. However, it can be used in a very interesting way if you had more concept art or let's say you're doing clouds or, or something really interesting um, that needed that kind of artistic touch. And what we might suggest doing is making a duplication of your object, and then you can explore a lot of different types of op options here. So I have now this option, I can go with this option. And let's say you're doing grass or trees or clouds. I mean, this is a great tool to use to, to really explore a wide variety of, of different options or, or propositions. And the final tool we'll look at here is our precise movement tool. So to use this tool, you simply grab, click on the piece of geometry you want to move, and then you have this axis that pops up. You can then use the trigger and grab the axis that you wish to use, and you have a precise movement. You could also grab a plane that you wish to move along. And so if you're working on a design and you really want to keep it quite precise, this is something that a lot of you have asked for, um, you can now use this tool to keep stuff level, keep stuff straight. Um, it can also work in, in conjunction with some, some different uh, smart move features that you might have added uh, during your, your creation. So to return that to the tool belt, just delete it and it goes away. So that's pretty much it. Uh, again, this is one of those features that we're going to be working on for some time now. This is probably going to take up a good chunk of the year, but we want to craft each one. So what we want is the community to weigh in on this and everyone that's interested in these beta features to kind of give us some feedback. We're building this for you guys so you can be a much more powerful um, 
I guess, a con contribution to your existing workflow. There's also tools that are probably missing from the tool belt. So what would you like to see in the tool belt? How would you like to see these tools evolve? Um, these are discussions that we hope to open on our Discord and, and relevant channels. Thanks so much for watching. And, and as always, really, we really appreciate your support.